Wisconsin soybean farmers may soon celebrate after a popular Asian food company announced it's expanding in the Badger State. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Morotek. And I'm Melissa Langman. News 9's Nick Robinson is joining us live. He's in the newsroom right now with how that move could help farmers when the company's new building is expected to open for business. We'll find that out as well. Kukumon Foods has been turning Wisconsin soybeans into soy sauce for over 50 years. But recently, the company announced they're expanding their current facility and building a new one, gaining praise from the Wisconsin Soybean Board. Jefferson County will soon be a home to a new soy sauce facility for Kikoman Foods. It will be the third of its kind, with the others being in California and just 37 miles away in Walworth, Wisconsin, which was Kikoman's first U.S. facility. Wisconsin Soybean Board Vice President Andy Benson says that without local distribution center, many Wisconsin soybean farmers have to pay an arm and a leg to move their product to other states and even other countries. But transportation costs are a big part and puts farmers in Wisconsin at a general disadvantage when we don't have any, uh, any soybean processing to any consequence, of any consequence in the state. But once the new facility opens, he says that it will be a huge boost for them. Whenever we can make uh, a, a food product out of soybeans, it increases the demand for local local soybeans because we don't have to transport them in. Governor Tony Evers announced that the state would be chipping in with a $15.5 million tax credit for the new facility. But Benson says that it will be performance-based to make sure Kikoman delivers a quality product. They have some objectives to meet before those tax credits are granted as it relates to actually spending the money to build. And I believe there are some uh, requirements regarding the number of people they would employ. He says Kikoman likes having facilities in this part of the country due to soybean access and the popularity of soy sauce in North America. And he's happy to see another one open up here in Wisconsin. Kikoman hopes to start shipping Wisconsin soybeans out of the new facility in 2026. In studio, Nick Robinson, News 9, WAOW.